Uh, so today we're doing some aerial rescue training. Um, this particular situ situation, this is going to be uh, considered a spar rescue. Um, so we got an injured climber up here. He cannot rappel down by himself. It's a situation. So I have all my gear set up. I'm going to ascend the tree. Um, I'm going to tie Jeremy into me, and then as we, I'm going to descend with him um, in a safe manner. Uh, in this particular role that we're running, um, we're going to say the pole was 30, 40 feet tall. The top of the tree's out, so there's no tying above it. And if he just took a piece of wood or a, a large top, um, sometimes the pole will whip back and forth violently. And in this situation, we're going to uh, pretend that he got knocked out or has a uh, back injury. So that's what we're going with today. But I'm just going to keep checking on Jeremy, make sure he's okay. And at this point, I'm going to tie in uh, to him. All right, so I'm gonna check, make sure his, his pipes are dug in right now. So I'm gonna get those out. At that point, I can get him away from the tree. And so he's got his lanyard on him. I'm gonna have to get him loose from that as well. Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna check his gear. His carabiners are properly closed, his prussics grabbing, and his rope, there's, I don't see any cuts on it. So at this point, I know it's safe for me to bring him to me and clip in with him. To do so, I'm going to take my lanyard, run it through his bridge. That way, if something were to happen on the descent, he's not going anywhere. We're going to take his lanyard off, and when we take it off, we're going to use it to support his back. At this point, Jeremy's free from the tree. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna get him in front of me. So he doesn't spike me and I don't spike him. Sometimes this can be difficult to do. I have his leg in front of me. I'm gonna re-cinch up on us. And now I have him secured with me. At this point, I'm gonna use both of our prussics and slowly lower ourselves down. And I'm gonna stick my boots on the tip of the tree as to not getting my spikes caught as we descend down. This is the point where you want to take your time, make sure there's no obstructions underneath you, and you have a nice, easy rescue. So we're going to lay him down as well. I'm going to clip from him first though. At that point, we can lower him all the way down. We're going to drop him up against this tree. And that's how you do a spar rescue.